Hello, let's play a bunch of daily word games. Today's bonus game is the weekly squaredle. So let's start with cross because the words all cross each other. All right, well, maybe we have an ER word. We have two chances for one. Um, let's do AER, maybe later. Get a lot of good letters out of that. All right, neither of them are ER. The right one does end in R. Um, so let's look at this right word. L, would E go after the L? Maybe. Um, I don't see what else would go after the L, so it makes sense. Lemur? Honestly, lemur seems so possible. I'm just going to guess it. Yeah, okay. Left word. We got a U. We have nothing in place. Aural? Ooh, close. Not mural, not aural. What's left? <laughs> um, bural? What, what, what is left? Um, I'll go through the letters. I doubt it's Q, but you never know. Ural with dordal. I've got some weird words in it. Uh, Pural, dural. Dural is a word. I don't know what it means. Let's see what else. Furl is also a word. I don't know what that means either. Jural is a word. Does that have to do with juries? Oh no. So there, there's a bunch of possibilities here. Um, Vural. <laughs> Sounds like virus related. Um, so it was F, G, and J. And honestly, I don't know which one it would be. So I'm going to guess judge here. OK, so it's fural. Wait, what did I miss? I didn't think any of those were like real words, but sometimes I'm thrown for a loop with Dordal. I hope there's only one left. Cural, Cyril. Am I missing like a clue? Yellow L L U R A. Did I did I miss one of these lighting up as as an option? I hate that it's the starting word and that there's no cursor. It makes take it makes testing these so so much longer. And kind of boring. Um, oh, rural. I, I missed repeating the R. Had I thought of that, I would have guessed it and not done Judge Fural. Oh, that's unfortunate. You're all yelling rural. <laughs> You're trying to, though, but it's a hard word to say, so joke's on you. <laughs> all right, a rural lemur. Not, not one of those city lemurs. <laughs> all right. Let's do fibble. Each guess has exactly one lie, so maybe this I is lying and should have been gray or yellow, or maybe the C is lying and should have been yellow or green. We don't know which one, but exactly one of them's lying. So I'm going to try to use the IR in place. That helps us find contradictions. And then I'll bring in one of the grays. I do play in hard mode, uh, which uh, is one of the settings for hard mode. It, and you can only guess words that could be the answer, meaning one lie in each of the previous guesses. Um, so would I bring in the M, C, or O? It's actually a really good question. Can I end in M? Actually, this is, this is kind of hard. Um, Maybe like an RE style word, but I'd still have to bring in the M, C, or O. Is like, is meter with the British spelling? I think probably would be accepted. So let's try that. Yeah, it was. Okay. So, ooh, this is great. So we found a contradiction. This R is green, this R is gray. They can't both be right. So there's a lie, at least one lie between them. Because there's one lie there and there's only two lies total, we can't have this I or this M lying because the other one would also have to lie, right? We'd have to look like this, and then the, we wouldn't have another lie for these R's. So um, M and I are definitely correct. There is an I there. Um, if I went with ITR, then um, that, that does not give me the lie in micro. So I'd have to like bring in that O probably. That doesn't seem good. So probably, if I my instinct is telling me all new letters, don't use the T or the R. Um, but we could we could, hmm. yeah. I don't like using the R. We know there's an I. So I'm gonna say this R is correct. This R is our lie. And then we could be I T ending in E though. So let's see if we can find something for that. We could do tithe. That well, it was front of mind for some reason. All right, that I comes down. Um, the T is reinforced. It thinks there might be a second T going on here. Could we be I-T-T-E? 
like bitte, like <laughs> please in, in German. It accepted it. I, I'm happy about that. Uh, we have a crazy contradiction going on here. Um, okay, these T's, con these T's contradict, right? Because this is saying it should be in this slot, and this is saying it, it can't be in this slot. So these contradict, which means there is no E in the word. That means this T had to be the lie, which means this T has to be the lie. Um, probably should have been gray. There is a T in the word still, obviously. And I think it's here. So, um, this is, oh, yeah, actually, it has to be. I just noticed this I is the lie. I wasn't paying attention. So we're I and then T here, and then literally all new letters. Can't repeat the T. So what are we doing? Um, I'd like to end in Y, maybe. If I can. Nifty. That would be fun. Okay, no. Uh, this T is definitely lying, so the rest of this is true. So we are I-T-Y, just not Nifty. Um, gotta come up with something else. It's not 50 either. Um, could it be S-T-I-S-T-Y, like Misty, not Misty, because there's no M. I think Wisty might be a word. It's not, okay. I'm thinking of, thinking of something else. Listy, like you're listing to the, for now. Um, I'm not going to retype that out. Uh, okay, I'm not seeing an I-S-T-Y option. Let me, let me actually write this out again, just to visualize. It could be LTY. Guilty, but without the U. <laughs> Maybe PTY, IPTY. Huh. I'm not sure what to put there. Let's look at LTY. Let's fill that out. It just doesn't look good, does it? Silty, maybe? Like, we have a silty river? Okay, well, it accepted it. So this is true. This is lying again. So, oh, it's 60. I thought of 50, but not 60. Can you believe that? <laughs> ah, those numbers never come to mind. All right, well, I got it. That, that's, that's interesting. That one, of the, my, one of my X fillers was actually correct. <laughs> that's actually kind of funny. All right, maybe that was uh, contributing to me not seeing the word. Well, how'd you do? Let's play between all. I'll start with mouse and then explain what's going on here. So our words are arranged alphabetically, and our answer is somewhere between mouse and the end of the alphabet. And this orange dot is telling us how close to each word we are, and the numbers as well. So we're 11% away from the end of the alphabet and 34% away from mouse. So we're closer to the end. 11% is quite a lot. Um, I'm thinking about starting with T. Um, maybe an early T. Um, Maybe taint. Okay, after taint, but I think we do start with T. Probably like even like a T T O word might even be too far. What what would I do for T O? Um, that's actually you think I could just think of a T O top topsy topsy turvy. I don't know why that came. Apparently, it's not a word. Not not according to this game. Um, all right, let's think of a real word. How about tough? It was tough to think of tough. Okay. Ooh, okay. So we are almost certainly T-O, just a little bit earlier than the U. Maybe total. I don't know. Total seems too close, but we'll try it. Yeah, it was too close. All right, way too close. Um, maybe T-O-L, T-O-M, um, T-O-P. Imagine if Topsy was, like, super close. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I could do torch. I think that might be too close, though. Still too close. Okay. Maybe T-O, uh, I mean, at Torah, I don't know if it would, let's not do Torah. Um, it's T-O-P. There must be a word. Um, I don't see one. T-O-O? -O? Um. Hmm. Like toony? Not a word. <laughs> um, why can't I think of something? I could do T O N. That feels way too far, though. I must be missing something. I'm gonna guess toner, though. Yeah, that was that was way too far. It almost feels like I should do T O R. 
I don't see T-O-Q. T-O-P. There must be a T-O-P word. Topsy? Yeah, I tried Topsy already. It's the only word I can think of that's T-O-P. Uh, topaz. No? Too far. Okay. Maybe I'll try Torah? Yeah, that, that's not far enough. So we are T-O-P, just not A. We're T-O-P like U or, or O. What is this word? It's probably obvious. Topic? There we go. Got it. Yeah, not, not too many T-O-P words. And as usual, it was a very, very common word of topic. Um, I, I knew it wasn't going to be Torah. <laughs> Anyway, uh, how'd you do? All right, let's play the weekly square at all. I'll start with stare. Um, and uh, we'll go from there. Ooh, wow. Okay, so the greens mean ST are in place. We're basically solving a 5x5 five five wordle. So this red A, I know it's kind of hard to see on a small phone screen if you're watching on a phone screen. But this A here is red, and that mean, and it's got little arrows pointing up and down, meaning there is an A in this vertical word somewhere, but not where I tried it, and obviously not where it's green. So there's an A somewhere down here. Uh, this yellow A is telling us somewhere in this word we have an A, similarly, in one of these two spots. And this E, it's orange, it's got arrows pointing both ways, meaning there's an E in this word and an E in this word, but neither of them are right here. So I'm thinking this word is S-T-E-A, maybe steel. We could we could fill that in, and when I when I do this, it's just a tentative marking, saying this is what I think it's going to be to remind myself. Here, the A is probably here. We could do S. Uh, there is no R. We can't do S T R A. All right. So we need to think about what to do with this word starting with T. Um, let's get all new letters if we can. Um, we know there's an R in the word though, so I actually don't mind guessing E R here. There's no reason it couldn't be. Um, so I'm going to go with toner. Okay, that's not where the R... Okay, we found that there's an R in this word somewhere. And we know it's not here, because this white R is telling us there's an R somewhere in the puzzle, it's just not in this word. The black ones uh, update the keyboard and let us know that that's not in the puzzle at all, which is very good to know. Um, so there's an R here or here. I don't know which one I would prefer. If this was ST something A, what would we put for the something? It actually seems difficult. Maybe it ends in A. I'm trying to think what that would be. Like, I could see IA working, but I can't think of an STIA word. Um, I can't think of another consonant I could put there. This is tough. Um, Maybe I'll check the E here to see if it's steel. I think when it comes back around, I'll probably just end up guessing steel, though, so I'm not sure if that's helpful. Um, maybe I'll just try new letters and see what comes up. Uh, what should we try? Maybe something that starts with an I. Uh, impel looks good, because we know there's an E in this vertical. And so this L will at least tell us if this is steel or not. All right, we know it's not steel. Okay, so let's get rid of that L, because this L ended up white, which means it's not in either of these words. So this is not an I, but there's an I in the word. This is not an I, E, or A. So it would have to be an O or a U. Oh, I actually kind of like S-T-O-A. If I can think of a word. Actually, can I? S-T-O-A, sto... I actually can't think of a word that would do that. Maybe there is one, though. All right, maybe it's a good idea to check if this is an A, because uh, I want to know if this word has the A here as well. So let's start a word with A. Maybe we'll do AR to try to find the R for this word. And then from there, we don't have a whole lot of optionality. Um, I could do like arrow. I don't think that's terrible. Okay, both of them do have the A there. We found that there's a W in this word. This is almost certainly S-T-O-A something. There's an E and an O in this word. And the E is almost certainly here, just because we have this E looking down. It doesn't have to be, but it's not in these two spots. So it's between these two, and this E is pointing down. So it's probably here. Um, but then where are we putting the O, though? Actually, I think we kind of have to do OE like this. 
We have to spread them out. It could be alone. We know there's an L in the puzzle somewhere, but there, we know there's one here, so that doesn't actually help. All right, we're guessing this last word right now. We know there's a W. I don't like S-T-O-A-W. Uh, w is not here either. We have this white W here. So W is in one of these two uh, slots, or, or it's this slot, and I'm just not thinking what word this is. Um, if I could think of what S-T... What would S-T-E-A be? Um, stead, maybe? Maybe I'll start with a D just to check that. Um, start with a D and then put the E here to test that. Um, there's not really a letter I want to put second, I don't think. I could do a D-O. That would help with this word. But I don't know if I like that, because this can't be an O. Let's guess this word specifically. Uh, we could do a D-something-R-E, maybe. Is that a word? Um, D-I-E? Like, maybe dire... Is dire a word? There's an S somewhere. We could do dyers. Not a word. Unfortunate. Um... I'll do dired then. That's also not a word. Interesting. I guess not. <laughs> I thought it would be. Um, I could do like dives. Okay. There's a V somewhere. That's good to know. Uh, this is not stead, but there is a D. So maybe these are both ED words because there's a D in both words. So that makes a lot of sense. Um, what goes S T O A something? Is it obvious? Am I like being silly? I don't see. I don't think it's obvious. And then S T E A, not stead, not steer, not steal. Like what? What is it? I don't know. I guess like, I have to guess one of these words. Um, and then the, this I think is an E. This okay. This I know is an E. This I just think is an O. So why don't we guess an O there? And you know what? I'm just gonna get new letters where I don't think we're gonna I don't know I don't think we're gonna get an SCOA word um what would what would work here I guess I could see if this is a word it's not okay so the W doesn't go there um Y doesn't make sense U doesn't make sense F stove stoke H J K stoke maybe no okay yeah I didn't think the stoke is S T O K E Stows, uh, the C doesn't make sense. Stobe, maybe it's not OA. Um, if it's, so if it's not A E I or O, it would be a U, which I really don't like either. All right, I have no idea what's going on here. Why don't I do I'm just gonna get something like I don't know, glowy. Just try to get some letters going here. Glowy doesn't like? Really? Okay. Unfortunate. Um, G-L-O something. Or why don't I do like float? Why not? Okay. Ooh. Actually, I finished stoat, whatever that means. Um, okay, that was good. Um, I didn't think to repeat the T because I didn't think stoat would be a word, but there we go. Um, did I learn anything about the, okay, we learned there's no F in the word, and then the, we learned there's an L in this word. That could have been a way worse result, because we finished a word and learned more, so that's great. Um, this word here, what do we know? There, we know there's an R somewhere. It's not here, it's, okay, the R is forced here, because it's not here, here, or here, because we have this white R here, these two red R's here. So the R is placed. This word has an E in it, it's not here. I doubt we start with E-E -E here. So the E goes here. Okay, good to know. This word has a T in it. Almost certainly here. This is almost certainly a D. So steam and no yeah, steam and meated might work. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Um But we're guessing this word right now. Uh we got this R placed. There's an E some okay, we found the E. Hmm. 
there's a V somewhere. I wonder where that V goes. It's not here or here. So maybe the V is in this word. This could be above. What if this was above? Because we need to use a V, and that makes sense. And then what would this be, though? T, this could be an A, not an E. It could be an I. No, not an I. There's a white I there. Can't be an O, could be a U. Tarb or Turb, neither of them look very good. There are weird words in this game, though. Um, what do we know about this word? Not much. Okay, I'm going to get rid of above. I don't think that's right. Um, there's an L in this word. Maybe that helps. I'm almost thinking this is orbit. Yeah, an elbow. Yeah, because we need a W. This is elbow, almost certainly. So let's just lock that in. Well, and it's not locked in, but like I'm gonna use the the when I use the filled in circle, that's that's like I'm confident. This is orbit. Um so what goes here? We need a V. I think this is the V still. And I think this is alive. And I think we're something like tool. I think we're I think tool is a word. And then this is turbo. Okay, I just I just figured out the whole thing. Um so now we just need to figure out the optimal way to finish this. Um if I do downs, I can finish it in four words. Is there any way, or are there like doubled up things that would make this a bit faster if I'd go differently? Um, we have this whole finished, this whole word's finished, so it makes it a little bit more difficult. I do think doing turbo is the way to go here. Yeah, I'm honestly, I don't think that there's like another like more optimal way to finish than just doing these four words, so let's just do it. So we're going to do turbo. We're going to do elbow. We're going to do alive. And we're going to do meted, whatever that means. And we ended with a score of six. Very nice. Cool. I'm glad I managed to, to figure all of the words out. That's fun. Um, well, how'd you do? All right, let's play polygonal. We are in expert mode. Today, uh, the symbols on top tell us what repeats. So today we just have a six letter word and this letter repeats three times. So R-R-E-R -R -E -R is the first thing that comes to mind. Maybe D-D-E-D. -D -E -D. Um, let's try D-D-E-D. -D -E -D. Um, padded, for example. All right, it is not that at all. I don't know, could this be like an E-E-S-E? -E -E? Like, I mean, I can think of geese, right? But that's too short. Um, I don't think Greece is a word like that. Apparently it accepts it. All right, the E does not go there. So the E is almost certainly here unless we start with E. I guess we could. Um, this could still be an R. Um, what would go here, though? Maybe we're a re word. Re. Without the A or the E, like what, what is this doing? If this is a consonant, like L, for example, and then maybe not L, T or M or N. This doesn't look good. So maybe we're like a vowel here. O would be the only one that would work besides the E. And we know it's not E. Uh, that's a bit weird though. Double O something O. And we need like an ER somewhere. So like R E. Yeah. This would have to be the R. This would be. E. Yeah, this doesn't look good. So I don't think I don't think this is a, a vowel. I think this is a consonant. It could be the R. Is there like error, but with another letter in front? I don't think so. Hmm. What's this word? Re something? Re. <laughs> Re what? I 
can't be empathy either. Um, it's like fur or a word or fur or I R. Murmur. <laughs> this is this is confusing. Maybe the R goes here. This can't be the E. Uro. Uh, emuro is clearly the word. I'm so confused. I may have to do a filler just because I'm I think I think I will at this point. <laughs> I think I've given up. Um what filler are we gonna do? Let's let's check R E at the start. Um uh, Do I just want all new letters? Um, trying to think of like a good, what's like a really good filler? I need these vowels. Um, just looking at the keyboard here. Clowny or something, that seems bad. Um, I'd like to get the OU. I'd like to at least get the O in one of these spots to see if it's that if that's the repeat there. Like get an O here. Maybe get an I, like, I don't know. I, I I'm not that demanding. Um like I don't want to try the R. I guess I could try the R there. See if it's a repeated R. Um C H O R what? Or maybe maybe thorny. Let's do thorny. Okay, well that was really good. The T this is the R. It's terror. Oh. I had error filled in. I just couldn't think of terror. Oh, that's unfortunate. I could have had that. It did it's terror didn't occur to me. Interesting. Just did not come to me at all. Okay. Well, it happens. Uh interesting words here. A lot of double E's. Double O is not really a thing. Um, Terror uh, may be the only one with R there. I think it is. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's do the mini. Uh, these repeat. Okay, so stash is what I do there. Nothing. Okay, back to the drawing board. Um, I'm thinking about R here, maybe? What do we do here? Or N? Like, can I end in uh, NE or something? Like C? Or <laughs> I like ending in E, but. What if we did a, like a vowel? Like uh, a, a is gone. We could do an E here. We could do an e, e, e R word. Maybe N. Oh, I thought of enter, but there's no T. Um, elder. Maybe this is the R after all. Maybe we end in Y. Um, I just don't see how that works. Okay, I mean it doesn't have to be. We could have R here. We could do like a like a C R or a P R like prop. We can't do props. Like what are we ending with? That's actually this is this is getting weird. Um, what is bribe a word? Like you're you're acting kind of bribe here, trying to bribe me. Um, wow, volleyball has been tough today. Um, maybe it's just me at this point. It's been a long day. Let's see. I'm thinking about like ru runry or something. I don't, know. Um, I don't know what else we'd end, end with besides the Y. Maybe another vowel. Um, it does. It just doesn't work though. What about R here? What would we What would we put here? You know, I didn't think about O R here.
or even like far here. I wrote what though? N? Doesn't seem to be a word. On raw. <laughs> or no. <laughs> In re. <laughs> All right, what I'm gonna do is reuse a gray, but stay in Hexpert. So what what was I thinking? Maybe maybe we can end in, what was I doing? I was doing like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do props. Just see if that gets me any info. This is the, okay, this is RO. Okay, now that I know that. Froth grog, groggy? No, I didn't think so. Um, croc, croc. What is this word? I thought maybe <laughs> it doesn't look good though. Not you. I f froth, froth. What? Nothing. Grog. What? Nothing. J. Those feel like the only options, though. Maybe the C. Croc. With the K. Ugh. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> it's me. Oops. Okay. Well, we, we're continuing anyway. Let's do symbol. I'll start with blaze. Uh, might end in E. We'll try with rouse. Ooh. So we do end in E, and those are yellow at the start. So. Maybe, hmm, actually, maybe like SU? I don't know, I'm trying to think. Because I wanted to put R second, but then we'd have to put a U or an S first. O, U, or S first. I guess O, R, something, something, E might work. Uh, I can't immediately think of what that would be. So the other thought I had was starting with S, U, and then ending in E, but I also can't think what that would be. Um, no, I don't see that. Um, like US maybe? This E at the end is really throwing me off. Um, OR, something, something E. Oh, maybe it's urine. It's not. Ooh. Okay, so the second letter we used both times. So the second letter is a U. The first letter we did not use again in urine, so it's not an R. We knew it wasn't an R anyway. I think it's got to be S. Or maybe it could be O U. O U, and then the middle letter is N. Middle letter has to be N, right? It's the only option. So it's ounce. Okay. Didn't think about putting both vowels there. I probably should have. Urine was a, was a possibility though. I don't mind that guess. Cool. Ounce and four. Let's do the blind fusel. This is an incognito tile, meaning that it will not give us a color. So when we start with ounce here, we won't know what, whether there's an N at all. This guess is anything but a real word. So what we want to do is just get the high value letters that we want. So probably like S, T, A, and L is a good idea here. Okay, so we know we end in L. That That, that makes me think maybe we're like if I guess level, like, so this twist is only going to give us greens. If it's yellow, it's going to show up the same as a gray. We're only going to know about greens. So by repeating L and E, I think that's helpful. Oh, no, no, sorry. This was ambiguous yellow. I, I misread the symbol. This is ambiguous yellow green. So there are two L's, and I'm actually thinking maybe we are L at the beginning with an L here, uh, if I can think of something. Um, but the, the this other L could be elsewhere. The E could be elsewhere. We could even be like L-E something something L. Or the L could be like second, but I don't know. At, at that point, I'm a little bit skeptical there would be a word. Um, maybe L-E. Oh, no, we know the E doesn't go there. So the E could be there, but I, I think E-L would make sense. Okay, this is good. Got just got to think of the word. Um, I is the only vowel left, or unless it's a Y. And that's kind of a problem, because I don't think this is a word. Libel. It is a word. Okay, got it. <laughs> Cool, libel in four. Very nice. 
All right, let's finish with don't wordle. Let's do don't wordle. It is thinking of a secret word. You're trying to avoid guessing it. So I'm going to start with kayak here. Nice, nothing from kayak. So we follow up with xylo. Nothing from xylo. So we do cuckoo. All right, there is a C fourth. So now we have to have to think. Um, think about doing a CK word, which feels a little bit less likely than CE. They're both very common. Maybe a CH is the least common. Um, maybe like, like a, like a, I don't know, we'll accept like Mitch or something. Yeah, well, oh, okay. So it's probably I-N-C-H. It's the inch trap, but there are five of those left at, um, about, um, maybe we'll go with, um, let, let's see if we can find ones that aren't like real words. Vinch, um, binch maybe. Um, we know like pinch is obviously a word, but it could be the answer. Winch, I think also, but we'll give that a, oh, darn it was. All right. I got unlucky. Uh, what were the five options here? Oh, birch is something I could have guessed, but that could have also been the answer. Finch, ginch. So ginch was the safe one. And then I would have had to gamble pinch or finch or winch. And I, honestly, I probably would have gone with winch. Winch feels like the least common word, but yeah, unfortunate. Maybe I could have undid Mitch, but I didn't want to use undos when, when I had a good chance of winning without them. All right, well, those are the games for today. I hope you enjoyed them, and if you did, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.